All right, let's check this out. We have a great video for you today. This is going to be uh, for all of you who've been wanting to live stream your DJ set out to the world. Uh, right, my name is Peter Jobst and I'm your IT consultant. And thanks for checking out our channel today because we have something really fun for you, a little bit out of our normal videos, but this is gonna be a really fun video about how to set up your DJ set to live stream out to the world. This can be in all different platforms. And one of the ones that we're gonna show you is what you can actually do with this. To, like how could you actually live stream to an audience and how could you make an event out of this? And we're gonna be setting up a live stream we're gonna be setting up all the equipment here. We're gonna be putting it on a streaming server, which is a server that we actually run. And we're gonna actually be streaming it into Altspace VR, which is a virtual reality world uh, put on by Microsoft. And there's events that happen in there where people show up in avatars, they show up in their, their VR goggles or on PCs or Macs in uh, 2D and they show up and they talk to each other and they dance around and, and uh, look at different art and you'll, you'll see what it's all about. And I think you'll probably want to be going and trying this yourself and trying to find out and want to set it up for yourself because I'm going to show you exactly how I do it and now I'll just give you an example. And I got to tell you, it took me a while to figure this out. I don't call myself an expert on this, but I'll tell you the things that I've learned and uh, hope that helps you out to get you set up. So again, check it out. We're gonna have a series number one coming up. We have a series that is gonna go through the different steps. And the first series that we're gonna talk about is Altspace VR. And we're gonna show you some examples of like what it is that you can do so that you can understand why you'd even wanna do this in the first place. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started here. All right, so we got our mixers here. Here we have a, a Pioneer mixer. I'm gonna check it out here. Spin out a little bit. So it's a two channel mixer. Got your two channels, crossfader. And the nice thing about this is that we can hook this up to a computer and use Serato on it. So this is a Serato enabled mixer. It's the uh, DJM S9. It's been a great mixer for me. Here we have, we're gonna have two CDJ 2000 Nexus. And uh, these are gonna be playing off of the computer. And through this mixer. Space here. Here's the second turntable. Only needs two turntables and a microphone to get started. As Fat Boy Slim once said, two tier, two turntables and a microphone. PC that we're going to be using. All right, so we got a little stand here. All right, so the next thing I'm going to get is a USB audio interface. There's many different out there. This is what I use right here. It's the um, Zoom U24. It's um, really basic. Essentially, it's two, two channels, channel one, channel two, which is left and right. You have channel one, channel two out. This is gonna hook up to uh, the streaming PC, which is a PC that we're using. So it's gonna hook up directly on USB and we're gonna plug the mixer in here. So again, Zoom U24, it's uh, there, there's lots of them out there. This is a pretty nice little
So now we are going to connect up the mixer to our USB interface here. It's going to be for the right side. Channel one. So it's a three prong. Uh, it goes long distance. It's better than just a regular speaker wire because it has three prongs in it. And you know, all that balanced cable, I believe. I'm sure you guys will tell me if I got that wrong. So thumb drive has all the music you can imagine. This one is 32 gigs. You can put a ton of WAV files, AIFF files, MP3 files on here. And when I plug it in, I can plug it in on this side. Now we're just gonna get the audio coming out of the mixer here with an RCA. So I plug these RCAs into the master out here. There it is, all right, so we got our audio coming out of there. And let's see my little, oh yeah. So we can tell, let's see. There we go, set our volumes. And we can go take a look at our USB Zoom. Let's see if we get anything on here. All right, so we're gonna look at OBS here. Can you see that? I have it on as a zoom, I call it zoom. It's called an audio interface. And you can see. And this, my friends, is OBS, which is gonna be streaming this out. So this is gonna take our audio devices. It's gonna take our video i'm gonna set up a couple cameras and we're gonna stream this out to the world this is the pioneer cdj 2000 this is the djm s9 Second one. Okay. So I have the USB audio interface connects up to the back here. These connections. And one of the keys to the green screen is that 
you want to use an, a wide angle lens and then you need to have at least 10 feet between the camera and the green screens and you should have it's best to have 15 16 feet the more room you have the better so that was it that was our series of how to live stream your dj set and uh, we were able to kind of give you an idea of the things that you can do with it how to set up your equipment to connect into your usb uh, audio input to your computer and next time what we're going to be talking about in our series two is that we're going to talk about how to use the software uh, it's a free software called obs and how to set up obs with your audio input your different cameras and how to stream out to services like twitch or d live or even possibly uh, your own custom server that you have there's all kinds of options for that and I just want to say thank you so much for checking this out. Again, my name is Peter Jopes. I'm your IT consultant. And uh, don't, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to our channel to find out more of the things that we're doing. All right, thank you so much. We'll catch you on series two. Have a great day.